Okay, lesson 22, collisions. So we have this little giraffe coming up to this little monkey. And once he touches the monkey, they both go together. Okay, here's a similar program. It doesn't work yet. So we've got the giraffe moving along nicely. And then it goes through the monkey behind it. So we're going to go ahead and put some code in here. Okay. Giraffe is created. Monkey is created. Giraffe is going speed of one. So we need to do this is touching. So when the giraffe, oh, if, sorry, if giraffe is touching monkey, Then we want the monkey to also be going at a velocity of one. So monkey velocity x is also one, right? So when it comes, it touches the monkey, and then they both are moving to the right at the speed of one. Let's try it. Does it? Cool. All right. We have our elephants, and then it's going to hit the hippo, and then we want the hippo to move. So it looks like it's pretty much the same deal, except we're on the Y. right instead of left and right so let's do it if the elephant is touching is touching the hippo then we want the velocity of the Hippo, no, yeah, hippo. We want the hippo velocity, y, to be equal to the velocity of the elephants and the reason I put velocity y of the elephant instead of a number is because check it out it's a random number between 3 negative 3 and negative 1 right so it could be a 3 and if we put a 3 a 1 here one will be going faster than the other one so instead it's going to go the exact same speed whatever that is between 1 and 3 up Let's check it out. It did it. Isn't that lovely? All right, onward. Okay. Displace. There's a block for displace. Someone tried to use displace to make the elephant push the hippo, but there's a bug. Okay, so the elephant pushed the hippo. Right now it looks like the hippo is pushing the elephant. So let's check it out. We have hippo displacing the elephant, but they want the elephant displacing the hippo. So we just need to switch these around. Check it out. 
check it out. And there we go. Right. So the hippo display the elephant displaces the hippo, not vice versa. That was the problem in that one. Okay, three new types of sprite interactions have been added. Collide, bounce, and bounce off. Switch the displace block. And check it out. Okay, so right now we have the parrot displaces the penguin. So displacing just means the parrot's going to be pushing the penguin over. Now let's try bounce. And see what bounce does. All right, so it makes them both bounce the opposite way. And now let's try bounce off. All right, so right now we have the parrot bouncing off the penguin. Let's check it out. Parrot. All right, so the parrot is going to keep bouncing, but the penguin is going to keep its velocity. All right, big six. There are four types of collisions that we can use in game lab. Displace, collide, bounce, bounce off. These blocks will cause certain types of interactions between sprite and target. Choose the best block model in the basketball's interaction with the floor. All right, so we have the wood. And we have the ball. So we want it to bounce. Off the wood. Because the wood we don't want to move. Right? So. Ball. Basketball. Bounce off. Wood. See what happens. All right, it worked. So we want the wood to stay the same and the ball to bounce off the wood. All right, there are four types of collisions we use. We've done that. Choose the best block to make the arrow stop when it reaches the apple. So right now it's just running through. All right, so we know that displace makes a move, bounce makes them move, and bounce off makes them move. So we're going to use collide. So collide. And we want the arrow to collide with the apple. Let's check it out. And there it is. All right, so we have the arrow collide with the apple. All right, there are four types of collisions we use. This one, they want the cart to go and bounce the other cart. So let's go ahead and do it. Add the collision here. So we want the gray cart to bounce 
the blue card. Right, not bounce off, but bounce. So it's going to bounce the blue. So, gray cart bounces blue cart. And hopefully it works. And it does. Okay. Collision types. Help her push the suitcase. So basically she's going to touch the suitcase and then they're both going to be moving. All right. So we're going to have them displace. Displace. So the kid is going to displace the suitcase. And let's see if it does it. Yes, it does. So kid displays suitcase. Right now you've seen four different types of interactions. You'll need them all for this challenge. All right. So we're going to use the different the different interactions. So we have what giraffe and parrot first. Alright, so let's go ahead and go bounce, giraffe, so giraffe bouncing the parrot, okay, then we have Hippo and elephant. So we'll go bounce off. Hippo bouncing off elephants. And then we'll have what's the collide? Um, rabbit collide, or monkey collide with rabbit. Monkey collide with a rabbit. And then pig and snake. Pig displace snake. Cool. And there we go. Bug colliders. Okay, sometimes sprites will behave in a way unexpected. There's a special sprite debug property to better understand. The two coins are round, so you'd expect them to bounce a certain way. Alright. Use sprite debug block to make it true. So they're squares. Change the gold coin starting X position to 51. Okay, so gold. X position 51.
right, so it looks like that, depending on where the angle is, we'll make it bounce off. And that's it for that one. A lighter shape. Okay, they want you to check or change it from rectangles to circles. So find the Sprite Collider block for the gold coin. That's here. Change it to circle. And then add Sprite Collider. And add it, make it a circle. All right, Silver Coin, Sprite Collider, Circle. And there we go. Bounciness. Run the code and check out the behavior of the pool ball. Use the bounciness block to set the bounciness for your soccer ball. Bounciness pool ball, bounciness basketball. We don't have one for the soccer ball, so they want us to add bounciness to the soccer ball. Bounciness. Soccer ball. This was a point oh eight. This was a point oh four. Let's make this a point oh six. Or point six, sorry. Looks good. Done deal. And we did it.